Hi guys, Bill here from Phil's Craft Corner. Uh, yesterday I spent most of the day upgrading my air extraction for my K40 laser. Uh, as you can see, the new one I got was quite a bit bigger than the old one. The volume isn't much louder, um, but I want to take you through the process that I went through um, from start to finish, all the bits that are used, uh, any problems that I went through, and Hopefully it's a bit of a guide for everybody to upgrade their exhaust system. Okay, so the first thing I needed to do was I needed to make a port for the back of the machine because as you can see it's uh, it's 240mm wide, this is for my machine, they're all probably very different. It's 240mm wide, uh, roughly 118 high and the exhaust port was 35mm from the bottom. So I went into Inkscape, I made a quick design and uh, measured out the port that I had because I had a flat square port going to 100mm round port because that was the hose that I bought for the extractor. What I did was um, I then made an extra couple of strips around the outside to make the, uh, the adapter thicker because it's a 6mm gap on mine and that fits fairly tightly around there and the reason I did it around the edge and I didn't make it just full 6mm thick is to avoid the screws that are at the back uh, they stick out a fair bit so I just did around the edge just to make that fit tight uh, then went on later on to silicon around that edge to make that air tight the next thing that I did was I added silicon around the inside of where the the hose adapter comes into the piece of wood that I cut and I also siliconed around the edge of where I'd glued the bits down to make it thicker just to make it airtight even more so. So after I'd siliconed around there I added some silicon around the face of where I'd mounted the extra thickness and then I slid it into the machine and I siliconed all around the edge of that just to make that airtight and make sure that that was stuck into um, stuck onto the machine and there was no air leaks in there. I also added a bead of silicon around the outside of where the plastic port fits into that piece of wood. While the silicon was drying on the uh, the port at the back, I mounted the extractor onto the wall just below the window where I uh, have the extractor fruit. Luckily behind this bit of the wall there is a, a big wooden beam that I could just screw straight into. I didn't have to drill any holes or anything like that. So when it comes to take this off I can just fill in the little holes from the, the screws and then paint over it and it'll all be fine. Uh, after mounting that to the wall I measured out the length of pipe that I needed to go from the laser machine to the extractor and then a little extra little bit of pipe just to take it from the extractor to out of the window and this worked pretty well it's fairly quiet it's not too much louder than the old extractor uh, I've got a couple of videos to show you testing them um, but other than that, it, it was all pretty straightforward. Wiring up the extractor itself was really easy. If you can wire a plug, you can wire this because um, there's only uh, a live and a neutral in there. They are marked, so as long as you wire it up correctly with a plug, um, it's, it's nice and easy. It's to plug it in, um, plug it into the power strip, turn it on just like I did the old fan. Okay, so this was the test with the old extractor installed, and as you see, the, the piece of paper just it doesn't move unless you're about two centimeters away from the port. Uh, so it's not very good extraction. The second extractor, the new one, uh, this uh, this is around ten centimeters away from the extractor port, and that, that's when it starts to pull the paper from there. Uh, the biggest noticeable difference that I made is when I was doing cuts with the old extractor the machine would still have quite a lot of smoke in there for 
five to ten seconds after it's stop engraving or cutting with the new extractor it's instantly it's all gone there's nothing in there you still get smoke blowing around in the machine from the air assist blowing it away from the port uh, but as soon as the engraving stops the it, the extraction just pulls it straight out so it was definitely worth the effort definitely worth the money just to do the upgrade and the, there's no smell in the room everything just gets extracted outside so if you enjoyed this video guys I'm going to do some more videos and tests and explaining and learning and we can go through the learning process together hopefully you learn something maybe somebody can teach me stuff so thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.